Today I'm in the kitchen making mini pies. These sweet little personal sized pastries are rich and flaky and filled with a sweet and juicy homemade raspberry filling. Mason jar lid pies happen to be the perfect size and hold the right amount of filling for this mini cooking pastry. I'm Rebecca and welcome to the kitchen. This is how I make mason jar lid raspberry pies. I'm going to start off making the dough for my mini tart shells. I'm using my favorite pie dough recipe and the quickest and easiest way to do it is in the food processor. Add two and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Pulse to mix. I've cut one cup of cold butter into little cubes and with the food processor on low, add the butter through the funnel. When all the butter is in, turn the machine off. small pourable container, mix six tablespoons of cold water, a half a tablespoon of vinegar, and one egg. With the food processor on low again, pour the liquid through the funnel. The dough should hold together in a few seconds. If not, add cold water a little at a time until the dough comes together. As soon as it does, turn off the machine so you don't overwork the dough. This will ensure that the dough is tender and flaky for the mini pie crust. I'm going to let my dough rest 10 minutes so it's easier to roll out. I'm going to roll the dough out on a lightly floured countertop, making sure to flip and move the dough around and apply more flour to ensure that it doesn't stick to the counter or the rolling pin. Cut circles out of the dough a little bigger than the canning jar lid. I just used a knife for this. You can use large or small lids for this depending on how big you want your mason jar lid pies to be. Turn the seal around so the metal part will be touching the bottom of your pastry. Grease the ring with butter to make sure the pie pops out without any difficulty. I did make some without buttering the inside and I had no problems getting them out of the lids. Press the dough into the bottom of the canning jar lids and up the sides of the ring. You can make a decorative border if you want, but since the midi pies are so small, the fluted edges I made were not that noticeable. Place all the mini tart shells on a baking sheet and chill them in the freezer for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. Once the dough is solid, dock the bottom of each with a fork. This will allow steam to escape while the tart shells are cooking and will prevent any bubbles from forming in the dough. Use a muffin liner or a small piece of parchment paper to form to the inside of each tart shell. Add a handful of dried beans, dried rice, or pie weights. This will help the dough hold its shape so that you can get the most amount of filling in the pies later. Bake the tart shells for 15 minutes. Then remove the liners and weights and return to the oven for another 10 to 12 minutes or until the bottom of the mini tart shells are cooked and starting to color. Now our mini pies are ready to fill. I'm going to be making a raspberry pie filling today, but you can of course swap this out for whatever pie filling you would like. To make this simple homemade raspberry pie filling, I'm going to take two 400 gram bags of frozen raspberries and add them to a medium sauce pot over medium high heat. Add in one and a half cups of brown sugar and a quarter cup of cornstarch. Stir to coat the berries. Stirring occasionally, bring the mixture to a simmer and stir until you have a thickened raspberry sauce. This only takes a few minutes. Once the mixture is thickened, remove from heat and stir in a tablespoon of butter. Spoon this mixture into the prepared mini tart shells all the way to the top. If you want to give your raspberry pies an extra level of cuteness, Cut out some of the pie dough into little strips. 
I'm using a pizza wheel to make quick work of this. Weave a tiny lattice top, trim the excess, and press the edges to the bottom crust. Return the mini raspberry tart to the oven for another 8 to 10 minutes, or until the top crust is cooked through and lightly golden. Let the pastries cool and serve.